Makeover magic. Mastering the phrasal verb, make over. Hello, English language learners. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating part of English language learning, phrasal verbs. Specifically, we'll focus on one very common phrasal verb, make over. Let's unravel the mysteries of this multi-use phrase and learn how to use it properly in conversations and writing. Make over is a two-part verb, also known as a phrasal verb. In English, make over is primarily used in two distinct ways. One, to completely change the appearance of something or someone. Two, in legal terms, it means to transfer ownership of an item or property. We will explore both uses, but our primary focus will be on the first usage as it is most common in everyday English. In the context of changing appearance, make over can be used to refer to substantial changes to a person's appearance or the style of an object. Here are some example sentences. 1. Sarah decided to make over her living room. She changed the furniture, painted the walls, and added new artwork. 2. John was made over on a television show, where they changed his wardrobe and hairstyle. In these sentences, Make over suggests a significant change in appearance. Now, try to form your own sentences using make over in this context. Less commonly, but importantly, make over can also mean to legally transfer ownership of a property or possession. Here's an example. One, after his mother's passing, the family home was made over to him. This implies that the ownership of the family home was transferred to him. Remember, this usage is less common and more formal, but it's good to be aware of. We've now explored the two main uses of the phrasal verb, make over. Remember, mastering phrasal verbs is all about practice, so try to use make over in your conversations and writing. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this lesson has made your understanding of the English language a little more complete. Happy learning!